Hello, Capricorns. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of January 4th to January 10th. This reading is for all of the Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 4th through January 10th. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your sun sign, check out your moon, venus, or rising sign. One of those readings may resonate better with your situation. If you are a returning viewer and you have not um, subscribed to the channel and you want to show support, the reading resonates with your situation. I ask that you subscribe to the channel. As well as hit the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit the thumbs up link. The thumbs up link. That will show support as well. I thank you in advance. And we are going to start your reading. Capricorns. What is going on with my Capricorn spirit? What is the energy? Oh, the energy of the Capricorns. Here we go. So, the five of wands. The King of Cups. I'm sorry, King of Pentacles. I don't know why I said the King of Cups. King of Pentacles. Capricorn, your energy. The Devil card. Tower card wanted to come out, but it didn't. The Hanging Man, Pisces energy. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. Has the hanging man here. Oh, okay. The death card, Scorpio's energy. Why is the death card here? Okay, I have to see what that is. The ten of wands. Ten of wands. Okay, that's it. The Two of Swords, your cards are coming out in bolt. <laughs> the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. All right. So let's see. You have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So some of you may have multiple obstacles that you're doing right now. You may be working hard. And you may not only be working hard, but you have lots of um, obstacles in your path. You feel like your back is up against the wall. But if you just turn around and walk, not, not walk away, but if you turn around, you'll be able to see clearly. But I feel like you're not going to turn your back on responsibilities. And you're conflicted. And this is mental confliction. You um, are conflicted about your stability, the stability of your home or something. This may have something to do with children, work. Could be conflicted about work, yeah. Something about your work is toxic. Something about your work is toxic. You may feel like you're stuck in a job and you want to go, you want to do something else. You want to transform and do something else. But you have all of these obstacles in your way. So you continue to work. You feel tired, bogged down, feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your back. And you're carrying these obstacles, these responsibilities all by yourself. And it's causing you to feel stuck. You feel like you can't move forward. You're blocked. Feel like you can't get to what you really want to get to, which it will be your wish fulfillment. Doing something that you love. Taking action. Moving towards new things. So it's causing you to feel conflicted. Having some type of mental confliction going on. 
I have to shuffle these cards because they feel like stuck together. Yeah, that's the stuck energy. Some some of you feel stuck, and you're and you feel stuck to a job or stuck to some type of work. But I feel like this this has been what this is what has been giving you stability. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? See? You feel unbalanced. You feel you're taking this action. You're overworked. Things are unbalanced right now. Yeah. See, you're still working, trying to gain some success, but I feel like there's unbalance. Like something is unbalanced. <clears throat> yeah, you need to walk away from something, but it's going to cause you a financial hardship. So you're waiting. You're waiting. But spirit is saying, take control of the situation. Aries energy. <clears throat> Why is the hanging man here? Pisces energy. Could be communicating with the Pisces. Have Pisces in your chart. Or in your environment. Okay. Pisces energy. Yeah, someone. This this may be due to children. You feel stuck because of children. Or the uh, page of swords means delay and disappointment. There's a delay. Why is the page of swords here? Like, what is this delay about? <clears throat> okay. Disappointment again. You're disappointed because something pertaining to your finances is not moving. It's children. It's something pertaining to children. You want to be victorious. But you're up at night thinking about this. You have anxiety. Because you feel blocked. And it's, it's due to children. Yeah, see? You're juggling multiple things. Because of children. Something that has to do with children. And you can't get to your wish fulfillment. See? Uh, that's a single person focusing on their money. You you can't... It's like you can't really do that right now because of something pertaining to kids. So you need strength and courage, Leo's energy, in order to bring in financial stability within your home life as well as your finances for your children. For your children. But you're tired. Look. For like the wounded warrior. Yep. Family. You want stability within your family. So you continue to do this, this whatever this work is. Because you know you have to feed your family. Oh, here it is. I was about to say, where is that car? Yep. Aries energy again. At the t you need to take control of the situation. Make a decision with the two of cups. Or, or as the emperor, you're nurturing your family. You may um, need to see eye to eye with someone in order to make your family feel complete and happy. But look at this, the nine of wands. You are tired. You're tired. You're trying to focus on your money and figure out how you're going to give it out to so many different people and things. And you want stability, financial stability. You want financial stability. My car jump right on out. So you may need to um, listen to someone in a more authoritative position. Because if not, you're going to be arguing. There's going to be heartbreak. You have to speak the truth to someone about how you feel in order to move forward. In order to grow and nurture the situation properly. You got to turn your back on something in order for a new beginning to come in. See? The fool card. Because right now... You're juggling too many things, and things are just not balanced out for you right now. Things are unbalanced. 
So I'm gonna pull some more cards from another deck. And then we are gonna close this out. Comment below, let me know if this is your story. Okay, cards act like they don't wanna come out. That's, that's that stuff energy. Because even when I had the um the other deck, the cards weren't coming out. All right, here they go. So let's see, Capricorns. You always working extra hard. Spirit going it alone listening listen to your inner wisdom so you have to listen to your inner wisdom in order to have satisfaction and gain more hope you have to listen to your inner your inner wisdom in order for something to end and to have a renewal strength courage and patience are going to be needed and you're going to have to take care of yourself to remain in good health as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. But Capricorns, I'm going to end it here. This is your reading. Sorry it was so short, but it was right to the point. Um, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.